In this video about Lightwave 11 Bullet Dynamics, we are going to discover a very unique feature allowing artists to manage very complex animation in an extremely simple way, the Pass Body Dynamic Type Objects. Let's take a look at a very quick example to clarify what a parts body object is. We have three objects in our scene, a ground plane, a box, and a layer which contains three boxes. Let's open the Dynamics panel and transform the ground plane in a static object, the single cube in a rigid body, and finally the layer containing three boxes in a parse body. We can use the box shape on all the meshes in the scene and change the collision margin to 10 mm to improve the precision of the dynamic calculation. As we play the animation, we may notice that Bullet is able to understand how many objects are present in the parse body mesh and can so calculate dynamics on them independently. This comes really handy when we want to animate something like a wall smashing, since we don't need to have a brick in every layer that may easily result in getting hundreds of objects in the scene. We can simply put all the bricks in a single layer object and keep the overall complexity of our work extremely low. To further clarify that, let's go in Modeler and use the Mirror tool to double the number of boxes present in the layer. Back in Layout, now we can play the animation and have the six boxes fall down independently. But we can go farther and use the Array tool to quickly create a sort of wall composed by 100 boxes fast and powerful. Parts bodies have some unique attributes artists can use to decide how strongly objects are connected among them and the way they should disconnect and act independently. Let's quickly set up a very simple scene so we can discover how it works. Let's assign dynamics to the three objects in the scene, a ground plane, a bowl and an array composed by 100 boxes. Of course, the array boxes layer will become a parse body. Let's take care about assigning the proper shapes and collision margin. As we play the animation, we can notice how the parse body object is meshing as it collides with the ball. If we select the parse body, we can notice three additional options for it. The glue strength, the breaking angle and the breaking distance. Glue strength is the most important, because it's controlling how much strong the constraints keeping the objects connected are. Let's set it to 100 and play the animation. Now the glue effect is stronger and we don't get every single piece disconnected like it was happening before. After having defined the strength of the connection among the objects, we have two different ways to decide when they have to break, based respectively on the incidence angle and distance of the pieces. We can use both settings at once, as in this case, or enable only one of the two methods. Let's start analyzing the breaking angle option. This value defines the minimum bending angle two objects have to reach so the constraint between them gets broken. If we set it to 5 degrees, constraints will be broken only when this value is reached. Of course, the higher this value, the harder it becomes fracturing the object in pieces. Setting it to 0 or 1 will very easily destroy all the links. A value of 10 in this case will break the object in two pieces. A value of 8 degrees will result in 4 or 5 pieces. If we use a very high value, such as 45 degrees, in this case the object will not break at all, generating a soft body like effect. Let's disable the breaking angle option, enabling the breaking distance instead. When we use this option, the connection among pieces will be broken based on the distance they should reach during the dynamic calculation. If we set this value to zero, all the connection will be broken on the impact with the collider. Increasing this value will make the object harder to fracture. We can try with a value of 20 mm and then 50 mm. In this scene, a breaking distance value of 100 mm will break the object in two pieces. A very high value, 15 mm in this case, will totally prevent the object from fracturing. Of course, we can have multiple parts body objects interacting in the scene. Parts body dynamic objects are a powerful feature of Lightray 11. By using them, Artists can simplify the task of creating extremely complex destruction scenes using the Bullet Dynamics implementation.
This unique feature turns to be hugely useful when used along with a new powerful fracture tool, which use will be described in later videos about Lighter 11 new features.